We're here with Steve of Zen Pinball at Star Wars Celebration 2017 in Orlando. This is a hype event. And uh, tell us more about this pinball related booth. Yeah, so this is actually our first time at Star Wars Celebration. Uh, it's been super awesome. And, you know, since this is our first time, we wanted to really do something awesome for our fans who are going to be here at this event. Uh, so we actually uh, created this one of a kind, unique uh, Star Wars pinball uh, virtual cabinet. Um, this is based on the framework of our Pinball Effects 2 Championship Edition, which uh, is like a full arcade experience uh, with a virtual setup um, made to emulate the true to life experience of like a real pinball table. Uh, what's what's in it that makes it? Well, it has the bu the buttons, uh, the DMD. Well, we're gonna do a video at the end of playing it. Um, it also has a yeah. instead of having a, a, a back glass, traditional has animation. Right, right. And uh, you know, it does kind of vary from the traditional black glass to the animation. But as you said, there's also a DMD. Um, uh, we, uh, you know, obviously the, the physical setup of it looks very much like an actual pinball table. Um, we uh, utilize feedback. Um, so when you hit your flippers, you know, you, it feels like they're actually, there's some physical... The flippers are moving. Yeah, and uh, there's kind of like a, like a ding noise when you hit bumpers and stuff like that. So we've, what we've really tried to do is, you know, get as close as we possibly could to that, you know, authentic physical experience of a pinball table uh, in, you know, a digital form. How long has how long has Zen Pinball made uh, Star Wars layout? So we released the original Star Wars Pinball in 2013. Okay. Uh, since then, we have we built up our Star Wars Pinball library up to 14 different tables. Wow. Um, there's a few. Some of them are in packs. There's uh, Heroes Within pack as this art right here. Um, this is out now. Yes. Yes. All of all the ones that we have, all 14 that we have. Um, but yeah, I mean, we cover pretty much all areas of, you know, the, the Star Wars universe, um, from, you know, the original films all the way up to Rogue One, and everything in between. We have, you know, character-based tables, Han Solo, Boba Fett, uh, Darth Vader, uh, you know, we have two based on The Force Awakens, um, there's Fight of the First Order, which is um, a table based on, you know, kind of the bad guys of that film, and also a kind of one that's more generally based on the film itself, The uh, Force Awakens. Yeah. How has the demand been? Has it grown as more, you know, layouts come out, or how's that been? How's the, oh, yeah. how's the reception of, amongst the community, not pinball people, because, you know, what, what really matters for the growth of pinball and digital pinball is the fandom coming right, right. in. I mean, it's been phenomenal. It's been absolutely massive. I mean, as, of course... There's know, a booth here, so that's that's yeah, a big deal. Because really Stern's deal not for. here. I mean, not, I mean, but, you know, they're going to release it, they're, whatever they release at the, you know, their right time, but you're here. It's, it's a yeah. big deal it's, here. It's a massive deal for us, obviously, to be here and, uh, you know, to be working with Star Wars in the first place. I mean... Back in 2013, when we very first got the license with Lucas, um, you know, it was just a dream come true for our guys in the studio. I mean, we, we you know, in Budapest, our home office, we've got uh, a team of, you know, around roughly 80 strong developers, and they're all just the hugest Star Wars fans you can imagine. They were making, like, Hungarian fan films, like, wow. before, before this was even a glint in our eye working on Star Wars pinball. So when we were able to have that, get that license and be able to work with Lucas on these tables, um, that was just a dream come true for a lot of the guys in the studio. And it just keeps getting better and better. I mean, as you know, the, the Star Wars universe itself is expanding. We're getting a lot more films coming out. We're getting a lot more of an internal look at some of the happenings within the Star Wars universe. And things like Rogue One and the upcoming Han Solo film. Um, and, you know, just to be able to expand with it like that is just a dream come true. And so it, you know, pinball and, and really any great movie thing goes hand in hand. Um, so the, the future is, is growing for Star Wars and pinball in general, or a, I mean, in gaming? I mean, uh, there's not a whole lot I can say on that right. front, but I can say we're not done. Trend wise, like trend wise. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, as, as you see, like Star Wars getting huger and, and more people getting back into the, the franchise and the universe, you know, with newer films and all that, like. We're certainly seeing a lot of demand on our end. And what is classic or old, you know, what's cl classic is new because, you know, there's there's kids from, uh, you know, uh, in a stroller to five and ten and they're all dressed up and they say, 
things in the line. Like I, I've worn this this outfit a million times. I'm like, well, that would be uh, 300. You'd well, be 300 years old. <laughs> right, and yeah. you know, the uh, the kids are as into it, if not more, to me than their parents are. Uh, from what I'm feeling of it. Yeah, and that's you know that's certainly awesome. I mean. It's great to see, like, not just the older generation of fans, the people who grew up in the original films, but, like, to have that passed down generally, generationally to their families and their, and their children. You know, that's also fantastic and, and a tribute to what, you know, the Star Wars universe has been able to, to really bring to people. What platform did it begin with, and what platforms uh, are your games on now? What platforms all together? So, uh, we're on just about everything. Okay. Um, and, um, you know, I'm not entirely sure where it started first. Probably yeah. uh, consoles, I think, is when we like, started the groundwork for uh, Star Wars Pinball. But I mean, all, of our, all 14 of our tables. So on Steam, on Steam, and uh, Android, yeah, we've got iOS. We've on Steam, Android, iOS, uh, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, Xbox One, um, Amazon platforms. Uh, we're pretty much everywhere. So let's. Uh, when it when it cools off, I'll have you show us the game. But sure. so this is a one-off game. Is that is that right? Is this a one-off for the show? Right, right. Uh, the all the, the the cabinet graphics and uh, artwork is all just for this event. Um, is something like this going to be available, like uh, a physical machine with a package? Is that available uh, not anywhere? The Star Wars version. Okay. Uh, this is a one-of-a-kind machine. Um, but like I said before, we do have, uh, it is based on our framework of uh, Pinball FX2 Championship Edition, um, which is a, you know, full arcade virtual pinball cabinet suite with like a ton of our tables. So are there dealers and distributors that viewers can contact or to um, buy a physical format of it or? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, off the record, we've got uh, Rick over there is okay. uh, definitely the guy to talk to about that kind of thing. So. Okay. And um, which one is your favorite? Which ones are, which, uh, ones are your favorite? <laughs> are the Star Wars plural. tables? Yeah. Oh man, there's a bunch. Uh, I, I really like the new Rogue One table. I think it's it's pretty awesome. It's a good, uh, it's a good exciting high scoring table. We'll get over to the, we'll, get, we'll, we'll talk in front of it now. Probably my favorite of our older tables is uh, Boba Fett. I love that one. And what, uh, and what about these did you like that, that made them the Boba Fett Different. table, I like the, I, I just kind of like the uh, general theme of the table. Like, I like the way that we implemented the toys on it, like the Boba Fett character on the table. Um, it's just really sharply done and it has an excellent flow. And, uh, and, the, and um, the layouts, for the most part, it seems like a lot of this could be recreated in reality, but some of it you can't, but a lot of it. It, it does seem true to a real pinball machine. Like you could do this, you know, flippers are in the same spot, slingshots are in the same spot, uh, the wire forms of the ramps, you know, you can really get creative. Um, you got a high score. Oh, you got a high score. So this is the Darth Vader, Vader table. So, get, so it's a touch screen, play field glass. Otherwise they would get all like kind of Oh my gosh, you're using the bathroom. So, this, this is one of my favorite games. Okay. One of my, my favorite Star Wars games. So, this is the. Oh, I'm in right there. This is the Boba Fett table. Yeah, there's one. There's one. There's one. Classic 90s. DMD dots. Just for the event, and then, uh, it's pretty slick, and you can still double flip. Like you can still double flip, like in real pinball. The trick is use one flipper at a time, because it's like opening the drawbridge. 
right. Some of these things would make neat toys. Like the trap. So when he's done, we'll do a little video of it. Of me playing, or of you playing. I'll do you playing it. Um, pick one of your favorite tables. So again, we're in this 2017 Star Wars Celebration in Orlando. There's a little of everything here. I was anticipating pinball, and I got some form of pinball. So, shows how it's done, sir. Uh, I don't expect a high score. I kind of do, though. But um, we'll get some action here. Pick one, one of your favorites. One, one that will look good on, on uh, like, uh, gameplay footage. I do like the Jedi, too. Love you. There's a built-in nudge sensor. They have a they have a standard plunger on it. Nudging is an advanced skill in pinball. Anybody that's a pinball person watching this will know. But uh, any Star Wars uh, big fans that aren't so much a pinball nerd, pinball head, pinball guy, so nudging is a really important in pinball when it's near the out lanes where it drains. This has really nice flow. Three flippers. Got a subway from near the pop bumpers. The scoops are very forgiving in the middle. So there's many different modes and uh, clips of the movies. Classic DMD dots. Great call outs from the movies. ball is really important in pinball and the flow these ramps are pretty slick
way. Really good sound effects. Like one more. I must speak with Java. in this layout that they've studied some real uh, classic and modern pinball layouts like Wizard of Oz, the pop bumper on the out lane, some of the third flipper shots, some of the tight loops. There's a mini Video mode, so to say. A pinball video mode. Go closer! <laughs> Slick. So pinball is notorious for having video modes as well as additional upper and lower play fields. And it's neat to see a, a video, a, 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 you know, a, a virtual pinball video mode. That's something that has not been done in traditional pinball that, uh, with the new displays that are in pinball machines, it makes sense uh, that Stern or Jersey Jack or someone could do that. Many of these toys could not be done in a physical form, but... They sure, they sure as heck could be tried. They sure could be uh, done to an extent. Mystery bonus. I 
I really like that toy, that digital toy. Yeah, that's one of the things that we definitely have on our side by working digitally. And you only have so much space to work with. Um, but many unique toys in this layout. It's uh, it's a this 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 layout would be a a limited edition, a premium layout in traditional pinball. You have a high score. Very slick. Uh, I'm just get uh, a little footage of the front as a traditional coin door. Uh, so this could have been coin op, so to say, but this is a one-off machine. It's very slick. Thank you uh, very much. Uh, any last words? Uh, the future looks bright for digital pinball, Star Wars pinball, and, you know, uh, like you're saying, Star Wars people are, yeah. are, are the... Would you say they're the primary audience as opposed to pinball people that are coming into it, so to say? Um, I mean, you know, for Star Wars pinball, I would say that, you know, it's probably everyone, really. Everyone. I mean, people who are Star Wars fans who are curious about pinball and like to get into it, or people who are, like, hardcore fans of pinball who, uh, you know, would like to check out some awesome Star Wars tables. We uh, kind of are looking for everyone on all fronts to enjoy the game. Our future looks bright for pinball digital pinball and anything Star Wars yeah <laughs> so uh, future looks bright thank you very much and uh, this is day one and enjoy the rest of the show thank you you too thank you